Hi there, it's me again, your Lavanya. Today we are continuing our discussion on Thiruvarut Payan, verse number 7. Ana Arivai Agalan Adiyavarku Vanadar Kanada Man. Today's verse gives us a very clear indication about who is going to receive the grace of Lord Shiva, who is not going to be receiving the grace of Lord Shiva. So, the verses uh, gives us a couple of meanings. So, let's look at that. The first one is, it says, what is the quality of the Almighty? He is, uh, there's a word called as Man. Man means, Mannudal means uh, uh, being there forever, right? So, without a destruction, without a creation, no creator, no destroyer, He is there forever. That is Almighty, persistent, ever persistent. So, He is omnipresent he is everywhere and he is going to be there throughout there is no death there is no birth that is almighty that is a first characteristic attribute the second one is where is he he is in the consciousness in our intelligence those of or those of us who have taken the path of saivism he is within us to Tell us what to do and tell us what not to do. I'm sure in your lifetime you would have faced at least this once in your lifetime. You will, you would have said, you would have been doing something and suddenly you'll say, something tells me I shouldn't be continuing this. Something, I feel something is not right. Someone tells me from within. Have you ever felt that? Now, if you say the answer is yes, then the someone from within is nothing but the Almighty. He is Lord Shiva, none other than Lord Shiva. He is within you trying to tell you what we have to do and what we shouldn't be doing. That is the Almighty. He is part of the consciousness. He is part of the intelligence. So he is within us trying to tell us what we should be doing, what we shouldn't be doing. I'm sure you would have faced this situation also in your lifetime at least once. You would be like started to regret about something and you would say, Something told me that I shouldn't be doing it, but I don't know why I did this stupid action and now I'm suffering because of that. If this verse sounds very familiar, then evaluate the situation. Who is the one who is within us to tell us that we shouldn't be doing it? That is the consciousness, which is Lord Shiva. But what stopped us from listening to it? That is our karma. So karma is the one which is stopping us in reaching or listening or following the gut feel, following our consciousness because our karma drives us over there. We haven't surrendered ourselves fully to God. So karma takes over. There's another phrase, another set of phrase that we have to analyze in this particular verse which is vanadar karnada man. So, to whom is God not going to show himself, right? Who is not going to realize there is someone called as God? That is the next phrase we are going to analyze. It's a very, very simple concept. Someone who is blocking themselves and saying that we don't have God, we don't have anyone called as Almighty. Obviously, for those of them, God is not going to be showing himself. It is not that he is willing or he is not willing to show, just that we are blocking. The sun is always there. The rays is always equal. But when I have a cataract, I'm stopping in receiving this grace, the rays. Similar to that, I may love to have milk. Imagine when I am not in a position to consume milk because of lacto probably I'm, uh, uh, I'm allergic to lactic uh, acid. In those cases, I won't be able to consume, I won't be able to take the benefit of milk. But milk is always good, good for health. So if you look at it, it's the body that is reacting. It is not the milk that is reacting. Milk is always the same. But I am uh, having an allergy for lactic. 
So if you look at it, this is how we need to look at it. If someone says there is no one called as God, if someone says that they are, they are just negating the ideology, they are just negating this particular concept, obviously they are not going to be receiving the grace because they are shutting themselves down, shutting themselves off the grace. And that is what today's particular verse is trying to tell us to say, once you are an aspirant in this path of Saivism, you are opening the doors to the consciousness and the Almighty is trying to guide you in that path. I'll come back again with the next verse very soon. Until then, bye-bye.